everyone, it's Mrs. P. I am here to do my weekly check-in. This is for the third week of March, May. Goodness gracious, what planet am I on? Okay, it's May, not March. That uh, That's the second time I've done that this month. Maybe it's because it starts with an M. Maybe it's because I'm going crazy. Um, but anyway, um, I am a, in a better mood tonight <laughs> doing this uh, check-in. I have still not got refunded from the bank for the fraudulent charge that's on our account, but I know that, you know, it will come. I was, I managed to get all of my electronic, um, like auto debit, uh, bills fixed. And, um, so everything should be good now. I think that was why the charges had not come through yet. So I could do my check-in, um, before my budget with me. Um, because it was all linked to my debit card. So I put all of the things on my husband's debit card. So we should be good to go for now. I'm sure I'm missing something, but I will hopefully remember it. doing a budget helps because then you can kind of look at, you know, what's getting ready to come out. And for the most part, like all of our subscriptions, things like that are, are auto drafted out of our account. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and do our check-in. And I'll zoom you in. Okay, so rollover, we kind of already knew what our rollover was gonna be because we did our check-in before our budget. So it was $1,085.42. My husband's check came in over 1,000. So it was $1,096.47. Uh, we had other come in that was right on the money for $200. So our total income came out to be $2,381.89. I think that's what I have written on my draft. Okay, so that's what we're working with for this week. Okay, so first we'll start with our bills and expenses. Geico came in at $2,664. I did see this was our last month on this um, cycle, I guess. I'm not really sure what you call it, but this is the insurance my husband has on the Gator and his lawnmower, and it will be going up, so that's discouraging. But everything else seems to be going up, so I shouldn't be shocked or surprised. Apple Music, 1176. Now, I talked about when I did this budget that I, we do pay for two music apps. My husband prefers Apple Music, my daughter prefers Spotify. But when I was talking to him about it and thinking, you know, maybe could we get rid of one or the other, Spotify, like my daughter, she, she's got a playlist that has thousands of songs. And she's 13, she'll be 14 in August. And let me just tell you this child, her, like the, the range of music that she listens to the other day in the car, she was listening to Frank Sinatra, and she knew all the words. Then an Elvis song came on. She knew all the words. Neil Diamond, like all the classics, like she has such a good taste in music. Okay, so anyway. Oh, what I was saying. Um, my husband said that he thinks that there's a way that you can transfer your Spotify playlist into Apple Music. And if that is the case, then we may see about trying that out and seeing if we can get rid of Spotify. He uses Apple Music. He has started kind of like this little side gig. I, I I've told you guys that he does music and stuff. And um, the last two weeks, he has been the DJ for our dances. One was for a prom and one was for just the, the middle school dance. And he's already gotten offers to... Um, DJ like weddings and stuff. So if that's the case, he says he uses Apple Music for that. So we'll have to keep that. But that's another little side gig that he could do to get some money in. And he enjoys it. He loves music. Um, okay. Anyway, so Netflix 1657, HBO Max 1069, Power and Internet 24292. This will probably start creeping up. We did open the pool up. So we've got the pump going and we did use, we have like a pool heater 
to warm the water up, but we are in North Carolina and the nights are still cool. The days are hot, but the nights are cool. So we kind of just, we don't keep the heater on, you know, exclusively, but just to knock the chill off so that we can use it right away. All right, Spotify, 1176 and Hulu. Hulu's gonna be cheaper. When I, and it was a good thing that I did go on to check all of my apps and change the, the payment method because I saw that we had an add-on to that. We had Disney add-on, but I'd forgotten we had added on Stars, which we got Stars for 99 cents for only six months. So it was going to make our bill go up to like $13 and something. So I canceled Stars and it brought this actually down to $3.20. So we saved it up a dollar there. Okay, so this section adds up to be $323.54. So we have remaining $2,058.35. I'll bring that down here to our sinking funds and savings, 2058.35. Month ahead, I took out, or I will take out. No, I did. This is our check-in. Goodness, I'm getting confused. I did take out 150. I did take out 280, and I did take out 58. So this one didn't change. 488, and that leaves us with 1,570 dollars and 35 cents, which looks pretty good, right? Because we're above budget, which is what we always want at this point in the week. All right, so I'm gonna move that over here, 1570.35, and we had 150 in groceries, 20 in pets, 20 in household, 35, 60, 20, eating out, we did not eat out, good for us. Gas, I took out 60. I haven't spent the whole 60. I'll have some to roll over. I'm budgeted. Now, I'm gonna put that fraudulent charge here. Even though it's not an expense we had, it's still not, it's still something that came out of our account. And uh, after doing some investigating and, you know, once the pending came off and it actually came out and, you know, um, of our account, there was a phone number that went with it. And so when I called it, it was some kind of continuing education from a company in Florida that does like nursing school. And goodness knows, <laughs> I'm not going back to school for anything. So this section adds up to be $639.99, which was really sad because we, we did try really hard not to spend any extra money this week and we didn't but we still have that, that charge that we have to account for. So that leaves us with 930 and 36 cents. My pen's trying to go out on me. Okay, so I'm gonna move that down here, 930, 36. Uh, uplift came out 156.75. And sadly, nothing going towards the snowball. And so, this section, after I subtract the 156, it leaves us with 773.61. And so that's gonna be our rollover. I know that the, hopefully the bank will refund us the money from that charge because, I mean, I can't see how they could prove that. I mean, we definitely didn't charge anything to something like that. So this is gonna be 773.61. But just for my own sanity, I wanted to figure out what would our, blood, or our rollover have been had we not had that charge come out. And it was going to be $1,048 looking at my cheat sheet again, and 60 cents. So, once we get that money back, which I know I have faith that we will, we'll have $100 more than what we thought we would. So, that's good to know, especially if you watched my budget with me, because I was a little bit discouraged, and I don't wanna say depressed, because depressed is a strong word. I did use that in my video, and I kind of felt bad because depression is a real thing and 
I'm, I'm not at that point. I was discouraged and disappointed that we didn't have as much money going toward this snowball. But if we get that money back, that will be an extra hundred dollars. If we can, you know, keep, <laughs> keep our budget tight this week, um, we should be able to put more towards the snowball than I thought. And you never know, you know, some extra income could come in. <laughs> My poor father-in-law, he still hasn't paid his phone bill in a couple months. And I know that he, <laughs> once he remembers, he will do that. So that, that would also be extra. I am not going to ask him for it. If he pays it, that's fine. If not, I'm just going to start probably taking it out of the budget and just call it extra if we get it. I mean, you know how it is with your elderly parents and he is my father-in-law but he is he is my dad i have two dads and i'm very blessed with that because he is a very special person okay so with that said i'm going to go ahead and do the check-in where i go and like make sure all of my money has gone toward i'm sorry guys my husband is looking at me and giggling i'm not sure he's watching He's watching some movie on TV. He's using headphones so that I don't hear the TV, but I can hear him laughing to the movie, at the movie. Okay, so here is my sticky. I am out of these, but I did bring some. I have, I keep stickies. I buy them from Sam's and I just keep them at work. So I brought some home. Um, our school supplies, post-its, <laughs> I call them stickies, post-its, but the colors that they have, it's not very pretty. And I like pretty bright colors. Now, I'm not a real big fan of this yellow. But that's why I brought it home. Because at school, I like to use the pinks and the purples and the greens. So, anyway. Let's go ahead. <laughs> I'm getting so off track. You can tell I'm definitely in a better mood tonight. Day two of testing is over. We've got, we've got one more technically. My daughter actually has two more. She takes two. She's an eighth grader, but she takes two high school classes. So she had one of her high school EOCs today, and tomorrow she'll have the eighth grade science test, and then Thursday she'll have her earth and environmental high school EOC. So bless. She's come home both days, yesterday and today, and slept. It's, it's exhausting. She's, she tested for four hours today. Okay, so four groceries. Let's see here. Five sixteen. Can y'all see that? Let me zoom in. Oof. I either do it too much, too little. Okay, so five sixteen. I got some groceries, and I got that at Walmart. And I spent one hundred eighteen dollars. Very good. And I've been tempted to go back and pick up some, some things that we're out of, but I'm not going to. I'm going to hold off because we can do without some little minor things. All right, pet supplies. I did spend quite a bit on the pets because, as you can see, we hadn't spent much spent much this e this week or this month. So I spent at Walmart. I spent forty five dollars, and then household I spent a lot. <laughs> um, household. I spent $35. Once again, we hadn't spent much this month so far, so I had to pick up some things. Eating out. No eating out. Yay, us. And gas. I did get gas on the 16th. I got gas at Walmart. And I spent exactly $30. So, that left us with... Is that right? $30? Well, I'm, I'm thinking that should have been 35 No, I think it was 30 So I think I had like a quarter of a tank and I only put $30 in there. So that means I'll have more to roll over unless my husband needs some for like lawnmower or things like that. All right, I am not putting that. Um, I'm not putting the unbudgeted fraudulent charges here because those I hope are coming off. If for some reason the bank does not refund those, which I'll be very upset about, if they don't refund those, then I'm just going to add it here, I guess. But hopefully we won't have to. I hope hope that will just go away. All right, so now, the other day I said I was not gonna do my cash planning or yesterday's video, 
because I wanted to go ahead and kind of just, I guess I just needed the data, just come to terms with the budget, but I am ready. I, I didn't change anything. What I decided was I'm going to go ahead and leave our budget or our cash money that we pull out exactly the same, just I had planned, but I am going to be very um, careful at the grocery store. I'm going to hold our blow money just in case I want to put it right back in the bank. So some of these things I'm going to pull out, but I may put back in. I'm just going to see how it goes. Okay. Especially if we don't get that money back. If we don't get that money back, I'll, I'll have to put that money back. All right, so I went ahead and filled out the, the categories. Um, but I forgot to put my little... I love to do this little highlighter because when I'm doing my cash stuffing, that gives me the indication of when I'm going to switch to a new binder to stuff. And that's helpful to me. All right, so I do have a cheat sheet I've already filled out. I've already got... Most everything tallied up. I haven't got like how many of each of the denominations out, but I do have how much each thing is going to be. So I know groceries gets 150, pets 20, household 20, Mr. P 35, Miss P 60, Miss P 20, and 60 in gas. Medical's going to get 20, vet is going to get 20. Um, we did uh, purchase the, my husband didn't want to do the flea pills that we usually get from the vet. So we are going to try the, the stuff that goes down their back. I don't know if there's a big difference. He's just, I don't know. He's kind of wary of them ingesting the pill. But I know that the stuff that goes down their back that you squeeze, that goes into their skin and their system too. So I don't know. But. He's done a lot of research, and that's what he decided he wanted to do for the dogs. All right, so $10 for pool maintenance. $10 for car maintenance. I feel like I've messed up. Nope, and $35 for home maintenance. Now, home maintenance, I emptied out this binder pretty much over the weekend. Um, we had to buy um, a water filter, and we decided to get the more expensive water filter for the house. It's like the whole house filter um, to get, it's one that gets rid of not just the like sediment and stuff like that, but also the smells and odors. Um, we have iron in our water and so it, you know, we don't wanna smell that. All right, subscriptions, gets, it's gonna get five car tags, five taxes. I told you guys I was gonna have to add some more to taxes because I want to make sure I have enough in the fund. So I'm going to start with taxes he, at 75. Uh, the emergency fund, see I messed up and I didn't have my white out, but I have it now. So I'm going to go ahead and move that. All right. So the emergency fund is going to get 50 and Christmas is going to get 50. Savings challenges 58 and month ahead 150. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, how much these are, this is 365, this section is 95, this section is 135, 50, and then 208, and that adds up to be 853, which is exactly what we got last week. Okay, so now for the denominations, I'm going to get 150 and 520, so that worked out really nice last week, pet supplies a 20, 20, a 20, a 10, and a five for my husband. I'm gonna get two 20s, a 10, and two fives for me. A 20 for my daughter, two 20s, a 10, and two fives for gas. Okay, the medical, a 20, vet a 20, pool 10, car 10, home maintenance, a 20, a 10, and a five. Subscriptions, a five, five. Taxes, 75, let's, how did I do that? I did a 50, is that? No, I put that in the wrong one. That's the 100 spot. So a 50, a 20, and a five. Emergency fund. I'm going to try some challenges for the emergency fund. Uh, so I'm gonna do a 10, 
Where's the 10? 10, six fives, and 10 ones, okay? Christmas, I'm going to do two tens, four fives, and 10 ones. Savings challenges, I need eight fives and 10 ones. No, that's not right. I need 18 ones. What would I do without whiteout? And month ahead, a 100 and a 50. And that's going to get pulled out and put right back in the bank so I can transfer it into our savings, our high yield savings account. All right, so let's see here. We're going to do one 100, one, two, three fifties. Oh, the odd amount. Five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, uh, tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen, nineteen, twenty-seven, fives, twenty, thirty-eight ones. Okay, so that's oh I did it upside down again. That's okay. Let me just highlight these. These are the denominations I need. Okay, so this would be one hundred, one fifty. 17 20s. I don't know what that is. 17 times 20 is 340. Yeah, I knew that without, I, I knew it. I just didn't give myself enough credit. 27. Let's see if I can do that. That should be 135. 27 times 5, 135. Look at me go mathing over here. All right, so let's add these up and see if those actually equal 853. So we've got 38. 135, 90, 340, 150, and 100. Oh, that's 853. Okay. And I remembered to get my little cash teller slip. All right, so one 100, 350s. Let me go ahead and put that over here. My, this pen never went, I spilt something on this. Oh, sorry. Spilt something on this, so now when I write on it, it, it doesn't work very good. Um, let's see here, 1720s, 340, 9 10s, 90, 27, 5s, 135, my dog is snoring, and 38 ones for $38. They're going to love me tomorrow at the bank, $853. Okay, I keep moving it to the wrong, too far up. All right, so we're ready to put this, take this to the bank and get our money so that I can do my cash stuffing, which is always fun to restuff the wallet. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your kind comments. And thank you to those who have been saying a little prayer for the teachers and the students who are testing because Testing is not fun for anyone. It's not fun for the teachers, the administrators, the testing coordinators, the kids, anybody. Everybody has a lot of stress during this week, but we're almost through it. We're, we've, we've done the two hardest ones, the ELA and the math. Science, they always love that one the best because it, I don't know, they just enjoy science. So, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you, guys. Oh, and thank you to Karen at the Faithful Dash. She told me a tip on my candle. You know how I always get all those little black things that fall in there? She said, after I put my candle out and it cools down, to take scissors and clip the little burnt balls at the end <laughs> of the wicks, and it worked like a charm. It, they just clipped right off and, and that made a big difference. So thank you, Karen, for that tip. So if anybody else is having that problem with their candles, that's what you need to do. So I will blow this out and say goodnight. Bye, friends.